everybody, me Flood Bart here, and welcome. All right. So, and this video is going to be a little bit different from the last few that I've done. And as the title is going to give you an idea of what we're going to do here, we're going to combine my simple multiplayer Steam template, or right here, with the survival game kit that's available on the marketplace. Okay. So, they're both going to be for 4.20, and I'm using 4.20.2. Alrighty, so first thing I want to do is I want to right-click on my Symbol Multiplayer Steam Template, and I want to create a clone, and I'm going to call this my Survival Demo. Okay, now as you can see as I'm typing it in here, Unreal Engine 4 went absolutely dipshit node. So, no problem. Just click on this, browse, and select your Unreal Projects folder, and there you go. It fixes that issue. I'm going to go ahead and hit Create, and Continue, and let it do its thing. Now, this is going to give you everything the way it needs to be. It's all good to go. So, as soon as that finishes, it will then populate a new thumbnail here, and we'll go from there. Ignore all the other projects. This is only a portion of what I'm actually working on. So, survival test is what we're working on in the last video, but I wanted to show how to incorporate the two of these together. So, since your survival game kit is replicated and has all the cool stuff there, but there's no way of creating and joining a game, so I'm going to combine that with my simple multiplayer Steam template. So it has Steam functionality, you can host and join games, or just play with yourself, I mean by yourself. So, as soon as it's done, it doesn't usually take very long, but because um, the size of everything, it did take a little while. So there, we got Survival Demo. We're not gonna, we're gonna go ahead and go into it, so you can see that it's, it's functional. And what my simple multiplayer Steam template actually provides. If you don't already have a copy of it, I do sell that via Discord and PayPal only. I do not accept any other forms of payment. It has to be PayPal only, and it's $20. It's worth it. I'm going to play in standalone mode. And what you get is... As soon as it pops up here... You get a basic menu system, you get Steam functionality, it shows your Steam um, um, thing right here, so you can shift tab and open that up. Um, shows your Steam username and avatar in upper right hand corner of the screen. You can click on single player and it'll go right into, yay, a little empty map. You, you can hit escape, go back to resume game and continue playing, or hit escape and go back to the main menu. Select multiplayer and you can find a game that's being hosted if there is one, and then if nothing shows up, you can hit that, it will refresh, and if it doesn't find anything, okay. If it does find it, then you can, you'll can you see the name here, the ping, the ping will show 9999, however, that's because there's no Steam app ID attached to this project yet. Once a Steam app ID is assigned to it, then you can get an accurate ping information. Then you'll have a join button, just click join, and you'll join that lobby. Or you can host and give it whatever name you want, hit make, and it'll go right in, and there you go. Lovely, right? So, let's go back to the main menu and exit game. This all works. It's lovely. So, I'm going to close that. Now, I'm going to go into the survival game kit. The first time you load this project, it's going to take a while. And every time you load it, it's also going to take a little while. So, bear with me on the load times. Um, this is a live stream, so you're going to see it as I'm seeing it. It's going to get to 93% and it's going to hang. Then it'll slowly hit 94% and then yeah, it's just it's loading a lot of stuff. There's a lot of things in that survival game kit. Um, if you haven't gone, uh, gone ahead and taken a look at it, you'll see it in this demo. I'll make the demo available to download so that you can actually use it as a try before you buy. Just like my TB4 projects for Cinti Studios. You'll be able to to download it, try it, play it with your friends, see if it's what you want. However, in this demo, I am going to make some fixes to their um, issues. And I'll show how to make those those changes. 
Um, they are getting ready to release a new update, so they're they are keeping up with the project and they are updating it. However, I'm going to fix a few bugs that I know that are going to bother me. I'll ignore some of the bugs <laughs> just because. But let's go ahead and now see we're up to 95%. I'm not going to change some of the bugs, like I said, just because it's going to take a while to redo everything. So, okay, we're in here. It's all good to go. We know that it's going to work. If I hit play, I can walk around. One of the first bugs I'm going to address is sound attenuation and the rate at which you lose your hunger and thirst. Because as you can see, it's actually going down pretty good. And the more you move and you start sprinting and things like that, it's going to be a lot faster. Um, it's a little too fast if you ask me, so I'll show how to, to slow that down. But we know that this works. We're good to go. So what I need to do now is go ahead and I'm going to select the content. doesn't matter what I select here, but I right click here and select Migrate. The gathering dependencies. So this is fine. Just go ahead and select OK. Now we want to find the location of the project we're going to put it into. In this case, it's going to be survival demo, and I want the content folder, and then select folder. It's going to copy all the files over, and it's going to migrate this into our current project. Once it completes, then we can close this project down and go back into our other project. And I'll show how to to quickly integrate it in so that whenever you hit play, you get your menu. And then when you hit single player or if you hit multiplayer. See, I get this area here copied 1,056 files. Some content could not be copied. And yeah, so a little bit weird. But for some reason, I get that error all the time. But it, sh it shows that it's done. So I'm going to close this project. Now I'm going to go back into my survival demo. If I notice any issues or any problems with this, then I could probably just go ahead and manually copy the files over. But let's try it this way first, because this is the recommended method for getting that stuff in there. So you can see I've got survival game kit there. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up, go to the maps folder, and select the map. I'm not going to open it up. I'm just going to select it. I'm going to hit F2, Control C, and then click off of it. That way I just copy the name Showcase, which is the name of their map. I'm going to change this for the demo, but for now, I just want to show how I'm going to change the, uh, the map in my multiplayer template. Because if I hit play right now, what's going to happen is if I play it in a selected viewport, you're not going to get the Steam functionality. It's going to give you go connect to Steam dummy. That's okay. So if it's single player or multiplayer and host a game, we're going to go to our lobby map, and we don't want that. Let's go to a widget folder, main menu underscore widget. And for some reason, once it's all here together, Everything seems like it takes forever to actually open. Don't worry about it. It is going to take a little while to to uh, open. So once it does open up, we just have to change the open level in two locations for single player and for the multiplayer. Come on, you can do it. Doing this on the live stream so you can see in real time what's actually happening. If I actually sit here and record these videos and then upload them, it's going to take four to five times as long as actually just doing a live stream. We're going to go to our graph, I'm going to zoom in, find our reference to open level here, control V, and then we want to do the same thing for single player button, open level, control V, compile save and close that window so now if we hit play 
you can see we've got unresolved compiler issues all right so this is a problem that I ran into before by doing the um, just copying over so no I don't want to run that I'm gonna go ahead and since we know that we have an issue by hitting play it's gonna tell us that there's unresolved errors so what I'm gonna to have to do is I'm gonna go ahead and save all I'm gonna close the project I'm going to actually go into my Unreal Projects folder and we have our survival demo that's the one we're working on and everything else is there we're going to go into our content folder and for our survival game kit what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to actually have to get a second here to organize everything manually copy over the files it's gonna find where I've got it stored um, can I actually go into your C drive or wherever you you've got your default location for um, the actual game um, Unreal Engine 4 and you don't want to find sorry I gotta minimize some of these the program files x86 and Epic Games launcher vault cache and survival you'll see a bunch of letters after there that's normal um, expand it out and this is your survival game kit. This is where it is in your, your vault cache. And I'm going to have to go in here to the content folder. I'll scroll down one more time. You can see where we've got survival game kit here. This is the actual content. So I'm going to go back to my content folder. Now I'm going to go back up here to my Unreal Projects, survival demo, expand that out. And we want to go into our content folder. And even though it's already there, we're having issues with it so I'm going to copy to the content folder I'm going to copy here and I want to merge yes and check do this for all current items and then we want to copy and replace so let's see if that actually fixes our issue here um, doing a straight migrate should have worked so now if I go back into survival demo let's see if it still gives us that same error unfortunately we're going to have to wait for it to load again so I do apologize for the load times but again this is real time it opens a little faster after you've already done it one time so if I hit play now you see it went right in go to single player now it is working it is going to take a second to load the map it takes a little bit longer to load while you're in the editor but once you actually have this packaged up and playable as a standalone it's I mean it opens up really quickly at least it did for me so you give us a second to go ahead and load I know that it's actually working because you know I don't see anything else doing anything here I can't whenever I mouse over these things they don't do anything they don't light up or anything I can't click on anything else so I know it's working um, again just takes a minute there we go I can see that the map stuff over here is refreshed so it's actually getting ready to pop into the actual game so you can see the, the ammo and spawners and all that is here now instead of what was here before in the world outliner so it's just about there I are promise
I'm going to go ahead and take a nap now while we're waiting. It only takes this long in the editor. Once you actually package this into a playable game, it's not a problem. It, I mean, it loads really, really quickly. In fact, I can actually go into a packaged version of this I already have and show you, but I just want to show you what we're working with for the current version of everything. And like I said, this is in, in real time. You're not seeing any, any edits, and you're going to see any mistakes that I make along the way, but, you know, not like I ever make mistakes. You know, I'm perfect. No, no, yeah, really. So, yeah, we'll just let that do its thing here. While we're doing that, what did it do, fail? So, yeah, it did. Um, let's look back in here. Let's make sure that it still has that reference, and it does. So, I'm going to try again to play in standalone game this time. So we're going to let that load. And if we need to, we'll manually load the map and play it that way. So let's try it in single player. And see, I've got Steam functionality now because I'm in standalone mode. Now, see, I can't move this window. It's actually loading. You can't see. It looks like I'm just holding my mouse here, but if I left click and try to drag this, it's not going to move because it is actually trying to load. Now, if I see this window move and I don't have the game playing in here, then I know that there's an issue. But we can see we have Steam functionality. That works. And you can see the window moved and we can move it around and we didn't go into the game. So let's try a multiplayer host. And is it broken? You've seen this actually working um, in my other videos of messing with both this and my stuff. But with getting that error of saying that some files could not be copied, I've gotten that issue before. But now that I know that I've got all the files here, you see I'm trying to move it and it's still not doing anything, so it's not working. So let's exit that, go into survival game, go to maps, and I know that it's here, but let's go ahead and open up that map and make sure that everything is still functional. So I'm going to hit play in selected viewport, and as you can see, I still have the same errors. All right. Well, this was a waste of friggin' time. The migrate function should have worked just fine, and it did not. Copying the files manually did not. So what I may end up having to do is go out of this project again, go back into the original survival game kit, and try to migrate it over one more time. But if I, by hitting play right now, and I see that I have issues in these, I've run into this issue a couple times already. And let's see here. Saying no, go to blueprints, components, and what was one of them that was complaining here? Player building component. Which is this one. And if we look, we can see here that um, pin for variable build part info recreated, but the variable is missing. So I can see right here that I'm getting all kinds of errors of missing variables and that kind of stuff. If I click on this variable, it's not showing up. If I right click on it, technically speaking, I could right click on it and select create variable build type and hit compile. 
and then wait to find out what other errors we've, we've got. Um, yes and no, because my template actually has um, key bindings. So let's actually go ahead and I'm going to hit save all even though I've got errors. And we can delete this and, and try it again. So let's go ahead and right click and delete. And then once we have it deleted here, you need to make sure that it's actually deleted in the Unreal Projects folder because you can see it'll sometimes leave an empty folder here. So I'm going to manually delete that. And if I go into my Symbol Multiplayer Steam template, I'm going to go in and I'm going to edit something on my original here. Because if I try to migrate this over, it may or may not do everything. Because I have to have a third party plugin for my stuff here. So if I come in here and go to. Even though technically we're not going to be using my character, um, we go into my player underscore base, which is my character. And. Alright, I've already replaced that. That was the one thing for the escape menu functionality that needed to be changed and the actual key binding needed to be removed so this this could be migrated but still um, yeah, input action mapping escape menu I can actually go ahead and remove that save all make sure everything is saved we'll hit play make sure everything still functions because the third party plugin actually has to be attached to the actual project so yeah we do have good functionality here my stuff works just fine All right, so if we actually do that, we've got survival game kit here. I don't want to use that. I've now all you, you in theory all you have to do is just come down here and create project. And when you create the project, you can give it a new name and let's call it survival demo. And yep, that's fine. No, we want to browse and then select OK because it it was giving me that stupid thing again. And I'll create a whole new project. So now whenever it comes up, it'll show up up here. But in theory, I should just be able to migrate their stuff to my project and it should work. So, and... I know that it works because I've actually done it before and it's right there survival test that uh, that project actually works so and I had another project up as well so we got survival demo now I can go ahead and I'm going to go back into my simple multiplier steam template I had to make sure that the key binding and everything else was was already set up once I go back into mine, I can actually now select to migrate and OK. And I need to find survival demo content select folder. Now what's going to happen is it's going to migrate it over and it shows successful whenever I migrate my stuff to there. But whenever I try to, to migrate their stuff to mine, I got an error. So that's fine. But there's one thing I have to ensure of is now whenever I go in here, I go into survival demo and look in the root here the plugins folder is not present 
So I have to go in here and you can see there, there's nothing. So if I go to, we'll say, survival test, the one that I've act actively been working on, I'm going to have to come over here and I'm going to grab my plugins folder and I'm going to copy this into the survival demo, into the root folder. And that's going to add another 395 megabytes, but that's an unfortunate thing. What's in that plugins folder is the plugins for the um, the actual advanced sessions and advanced Steam sessions. So that has to be there for it to be able to work. So now if we go into survival demo, let's see if anything works now. So what I'll do is I'll start off with just as it is. And again, since it's the first time opening the project, it's going to get a 93%. It's going to hang up and it's going to take a little bit. After that, it'll open up faster, I promise. And actually, mine is a little bit more than just a menu. It's actually, well, it is and it isn't. Because it has the, the multiplayer um, uh, menu system and the Steam uh, advanced sessions. So by trimming it back a little bit there's less that has to be pre-set up 94, 95, 94 it went up to 95 but it went back to 94 um, so as we see you know, the, the recommended method was to migrate their stuff to your project and it just did not work at least it did not work for me All right, hit play. It's there. We can move around. Everything is good to go. But let's go ahead and let's go to maps. That's my maps. And let's go to their maps folder. And I want to go ahead and hit F2, Control C, go to my widget folder, main menu. Go to the graph and any reference to open level, which there's two. That was for multiplayer, this is for single player. We're going to paste in, for now, that map. Since I forgot to save there. And let's actually change to my main menu map. And let's play in standalone mode and see what happens. Now, I probably could have just gone into the this map and hit it without doing it, but let's go to Multiplayer, Host. You can see, go connect to Steam Dummy. By bringing mine into here, it's broken my stuff. So, therefore, we now have another error we have to deal with because it's telling me to go connect to Steam Dummy, where... It should be seeing my Steam um, advanced sessions information, but it's not. So, again, once we see this, there, it went in. However, it's not working correctly because the fact that um, see, now there's no escape menu, there's no way of getting out of it. You actually have to manually kill it. So, the next thing I need to do is go into their my character folder, player blueprints, go to player underscore base, and I need to. Well, first off, we have an error in this blueprint. I'm going to delete the uh, the VR one. VR is not going to work for this anyway, so I'm going to Control C. Compile, save, so we get rid of the error. And I need to go into their blueprint, character, BP survival character, and just find a spot somewhere up top and paste so we can put the escape menu functionality in. So compile and save. So now if I hit Again, let's try playing it one more time. 
and the Steam information should show up in the upper right hand corner and it does not. It's telling me to go connect to Steam Dummy because it is, it is not liking my stuff. But if I hit multiplayer, host, make a game, and then go into it, it works. But it's not working correctly. More than likely, yeah. Um, but I'm just showing the, the, the basic conceptual problem of migrating one way or the other. And it should be easier to migrate their stuff to my project or my project to their project. Just showing the errors we run into both ways. And I'll open up the engine I and I and see. But you can see, go run around, it works. Now my escape menu actually works. We can go back to the main menu and exit game. So with the um, engine I and I file, look in the actual project, the um, config and the engine I and I file, you should see, and it usually comes up right in here. So I'm not seeing it here. So that's more than likely going to be the issue. So let's look at survival test and the config in there. The one that I know that actually works. Default engine. And see online subsystem enable true Steam dev app ID is 480. That's the developer one. So we need to get this information into the other one. And you've got this here and all this and I believe to here but if you don't know exactly what to copy in I'm actually gonna go to the website where you can get the information and copy and paste it in so default engine as you can see that stuff is not in here I know you probably can't see because I'm scrolling pretty quickly. But, yeah, and that's going to be our major issue here. So now I just want to scroll down to the bottom. And I'm just going to pull these off to the side of the screen. And I'm going to open up the web browser. And it would be Steam Online Subsystem. Yeah, I remember exactly what the link was here. Um, actually, the um, go to a different link here. So this is where you get the actual plugin, and it has a link to download right there. And there was another link here as well. Um, thought I had the link in here. Um, not the one that I was looking for. But yeah, I can go back to it, and it was um, Steam Online Subsystem. And I thought it was the first link in, in in Google that pops up. So yeah, you scroll down and you've got um let's see. There was a spot in here where it was actually all of it combined together right here. So um default engine I and I. You can just come down to right here and you can select all of this stuff here. Control C. Yeah, I'm sure there was an easier way of doing that. And then go back into your setting here. Control V down at the bottom. And then file, save. Let's close that, close that. And I'm actually going to 
try it again without having to reload it. Let's see what happens. But just kind of showing the comparisons back and forth of, of m migrating each way. See, there we go. We have the Steam functionality is now working. And we've got a multiplayer host. Blah, blah, blah. And make. Now with this template, like I said, there's a lot of little bugs. They are updating it. But I want to show how to, to do a quick hot fix on a couple of the bugs that really can get annoying. Come on, hurry up. We want to show that we are working. Come on. You can do it. It is not this slow when you actually are playing the game. Whenever you, you package it. So, okay. Um, one of the first issues I want to look at is come over here and let's pick up an apple and let's go ahead and right click and eat the eating sound and every sound that's in here should be set up as a actual um, sound cue and they should have a specific level of attenuation we hit escape go back to main menu and exit from here on out I'll actually go back to their map and Do, 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 do. Come on, where's Maps folder? Right there. We'll go directly to their map so we can just load directly into it and play that way. So now we can just play in selected viewport and it goes right in instead of having to go through everything. So, with the sounds, that was the number one thing that really kind of annoyed me was when we were doing some multiplayer testing uh, the other night. Somebody could be over here standing at the crafting bench and eating an apple. And if you're on the other side of the friggin' map, it sounds like you're the one eating the apple. It's absolutely loud and there's no sound attenuation whatsoever. So if you look in the sound folder, they actually created sound cues for all the stuff. However, there's no sound attenuation. So if I wanted to, I can come over here, go to right click, go to sounds, and create a sound attenuation and short underscore A10 so now we go into short A10 and this is our attenuation settings I'm not going to change anything we're going to leave it just the way it is for now and we're going to hit save close now go into our sound cues and there's actually one right here for some reason um, attenuation function so there was a sound attenuation here but it wasn't being used so I'm going to go into the sound cue folder go into the attach all of these were absolutely just loud and it didn't matter where you were on the map they were um, not working so now all I got to do is come over here and select my short attenuation save close and I'm going to have to do this for each individual one. Yes, there's a way to batch do this, but I just wanted to show you what you're going to have to do. Or you could just, as an alternative, if you didn't want to create your own custom sound attenuation, you can just click that, and the same basic attenuation levels are right there anyway. But I'm not. I'm going to go ahead and use the one that I created. So go into it each individual one and set the attenuation factor for each one. The reason why I'm doing it this way is because if I want to come back in later and for gunshot sounds and think you know for for things that are going to be loud, I may want to change the attenuation of it. And I want, may want to create one that's for gunfire attenuation so that it, it is different than the sound of you eating but for now this is gonna take care of a lot of stuff it's a blanket fix across the board the guns I'm probably not gonna go ahead and, and change them right now because they need to be kinda loud and they need to be heard 
but you know what screw it I'm gonna go ahead and change them anyway we'll come back in and create a new sound attenuation just for gunfire and we'll worry about that later but that was one of the the minor little bugs that I wanted to, to, to cover as a quick fix the next one that I want to do since we're just about done with this is we want to go ahead and fix the rate at which you lose your thirst and hunger it's a little on the fast side and I also want to go ahead and create another quick map that's gonna be using the same stuff but I'll make it a little bit larger and a little bit more resources All right, so that's that sound attenuation issue should be fixed and on your blueprint folder characters BP survival character um, you look over on the right hand side it was under player inventory component hunger and thirst so on our hunger we have a hundred idle hunger reduction I'm going to change this from 0 0.15 to 0 0.01 and running hunger reduction 0 0.1 and sprint hunger to 0. Point and I'm pretty much going to use the same settings for um, thirst as well 0 0.01 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 um, that's going to slow it down to where we're not going to be starving and dying of uh, and dehydrating so quickly so now let's go back in here click play it will go down but it'll go down slower so it'll give you more time to actually sit here and build stuff and it appears that they've got everything set up to work off their foliage so now if I were to harvest a bush harvest a bush harvest a bush I'm getting one log per which is good um, now I've got five logs I can craft a wood axe there's also this has got the um, axe so what is the difference between axe and axe It's the same thing okay let's drop that on the ground and the pickaxe now one thing that I've noticed is um, there are some missing recipes if I come in here and I want to create my own crafting table there is no crafting table recipe if I come over here to a crafting bench there is no crafting bench I have no way of crafting my own crafting bench and from experimenting with it I tried to create my own recipe for it and it just does not work the crafting bench when you you create it plop it into the map it just does not work so for the test map that I'm going to put together I'm actually just going to place a crafting bench in the the map um, you can create the bed you can create everything else works just fine but there is no way of crafting a crafting bench to me that is a hell of a big ass bug and since you're required to have it to to make things like the bed and other things that's gonna need to be fixed um, the fact you have to have a blueprint in your hand to be able to craft um, your building stuff And then when you do it, hold F, and there we go. So everything else seems to be working good enough for me to go ahead and build a test map. So what I'll do is I will do that to show another issue that I found. So this is lovely. I like it. Um, no problems here. This map is working just fine. I can live with it so if I go to now create a new map 
new level, default. Just because I want to have a little bit of terrain, I'm going to delete the floor. I'm going to come over to here. I'm going to change. Mm, I don't want that big of a map, so let's change this from 8x8 eight eight to 2x2. Two two. So yeah, a little smaller. I can live with that. And create. Come on, you can do it. Alright, so I will come over here and set this section of the map. I'm going to change my brush down. I hate these giant ass brushes all the time. And like I did before, I'll just come in here and make a little depression. Change my sculpt tool to flatten. So just want to make a little pond. After I've got the pond about how I want it, a little kidney shaped pond, lovely. And then I'll come back in here with a smoothing tool. Smooth off the edges. And that looks lovely. Now there's no materials on the ground here. I'll I'll come up with a material to put on. Or worst case scenario, I'll add in the um the no, I think for for the essence of file size, I'll just put in a generic um, set of materials and make my own ground material. So what I'll do is I come in here and we'll create a plane. Actually, yeah, let's go ahead and create the plane and let's resize it. We want this to fill every portion of the pond. There, we have a pond. Lovely. And for material, let's go to materials folder. And we're going to use the water bottle. And there, lovely. Resources. No, we don't want resources. Not yet. Um. Where was the drinkable water? I just did this in another video. Um, effect zones. Drink zone. And again, just want to make sure that it encapsulates the entire pond. Just so that we can actually have a, a, a little pond area that we can come over here and drink. Um, before I make it all the way. Just want to kind of get it to match up the water. So now I'll go ahead and expand it out just a hair more and we're good. So now we have a dumbass behind the keyboard because we forgot to do world settings, game mode override, BP survival game mode. And now we can hit play and player start F focus because he's not standing up on the ground I'm just gonna start him out over here by the water that's better now we can walk over here and we can walk to this and we can now drink the water lovely so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll populate this map and just because I hate it doesn't work the way that I want it to. I'm getting rid of the sphere reflection capture because, yeah, because. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll populate this map and I'll show you the items that I'm going to use to populate the map with. Is in resources, BP resource wood, and I'm just going to start populating some trees. Another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put a um, blocking volume in. And I have not done my lighting build yet, 
because now I can still see the little dividing point. I know where the middle is of my map. So if I come over here to Volumes and Blocking Volume, I can drag this over here. And when I go to my Details, scroll up, I can put this on 0. And it's going to line it up perfectly that way. And then all I need to do is just make it wide enough to cover. and go just off the edge and I'll scale it up a little bit so now we have a blocking volume that will keep players from falling out of the world and I want to get this right to the edge of the map as well I don't want it directly on it that's good and you see we're at negative 6410 We'll put it at negative 6400. And then we will control C, control V, and we have the other one. And now, technically, all we should have to do is 6400 here, and it should put it in a, almost the right position on the other side. Yep, so now we got the blocking volumes. Do the same thing on this side. Grab another blocking volume. Stick it right here. Zero it out on this axis. And negative 6400. And we can copy the same. This one was... We'll screw it. Well, 1 by 64 by 7.5. Sixty-four. Actually, no. This should be seven point five. No, we had it right. Um, one this way. Seven point five. No, asshole. Sixty-four and seven point five. Lovely. Now we have blocking volumes that will keep us from falling out of the world. And if I do Control C, Control V, now I can just take and make that 6400 here and done. The blocking volume is just going to keep us from falling out of the world. See? Perfect. So, um, another thing that I noticed also is so we've got a resource for our wood so we have, we'll have trees now I will put a buttload of trees out just so it fills out the map a little bit and then you can do it this way you can also do the um, the foliage method and paint foliage on that should work with this as well because these trees will actually then become harvestable at that point I'm just going to do it this way because I'm going to end up doing it, modifying things a different way for myself. Um, same thing here, you've got the, uh, the rock resource. I'm just going to drop some rocks into the map. I'm not trying to make this pretty, I'm just trying to make this effective. Just want to get something in here to populate the map. I'm actually going to go ahead and put down some um, some preset resources as well so that you can just come over here and just grab them off the shelf and just build stuff um, but I just want to plop down a couple of them and show how I'm going to do the rocks for for this just for decorative porpoises so that's good enough so we'll come over here and I will set up a crafting table because, like I said, there is no recipe for creating it. So what I'll do here is we have the pickup items for beds and stuff like that. 
soups. So we're gonna have to do um, some item spawners and spawn some food in, so that people here that are doing the testing will be able to not starve to death. And and we have a pond, so we're not gonna die of thirst. So we have a replenishable source of water. I'm um, not really worried about weapons because it's more or less about the um, the building aspect of it. So I will grab for right now just. For demonstration, I'm going to delete them as I'm working on this, but I'll drop a blueprint in, um, an axe, and a large backpack. And what the heck, we'll throw a pickaxe in there as well, and a hammer. We just have a few things in here just for testing. Pickaxe, hammer, axe, blueprints, and a backpack. There we go. Now we can drink water, get our pickaxe, get stone, we can get our axe, get wood, no problem. We've got our blueprints, we can build a foundation, and we can now build. Awesome. So I will actually have to put in a crafting bench. And again, I kind of hope they, they get the recipe in because my attempt to do it uh, came up with an error. When I placed the item down, you couldn't use the, um, the, the one that actually is created when you, you craft one. So, um, let's see here. Usables. Crafting bench. So, I'm just going to throw one in here. Just so there is one. Until there's actually an update to the, um, the survival kit to fix that. You'll have to just put one in your map. So, there we go. That or that. And for giggles, I'm going to throw on the chest. I don't know why, but eh, I'm throwing it anyway. But I will populate this map. I will get this package, and I'll get this posted online so that um, it will be a playable demo with a little bit more size so you can actually focus in on playing around with building and that kind of stuff. All right, guys, I want to thank everybody for watching, and if you have any questions about this pack or my pack, let me know in Discord, and I'll try to answer them as I get to them. Alright guys, and uh, keep up with uh, Discord, and I will post a link as soon as it's available. Thanks.